The colored line pairs test pattern reveals whether a monitor or system accurately supports the parameters of a certain color space, including YCBCR matrix, color primaries, code value range, and gamma or EOTF. The pattern consists of three rows at 25%, 50%, and 100% of diffuse white, each row consisting of four panels that will appear equally gray from a distance if the monitor or system is using the color space parameters that correspond to the pattern. The first panel is flat gray. The second panel is alternating black and white lines that, together, have the same average brightness of the first panel. Viewed from a distance, these line pairs will merge optically and should match the first panel if the display's gamma or EOTF and the display's code value range correspond to the patterns. If the second panel matches the first panel, then the third panel can be checked. The third panel is split into top and bottom sections. The top is alternating lines of red and green over a blue background. At a distance, it will appear gray. The bottom is alternating lines of red and blue over a green background and should also appear gray. The third panel should match the first and second panels. If not, the YCBCR matrix may be mismatched or the color primaries may be set or converted incorrectly. The fourth panel is the third panel, but with reversed line pairs. It should appear identical to the third panel. If it is not, the monitor may be processing the color of odd and even lines differently. Colored line pairs is a very sensitive pattern. It will not function as expected unless its resolution matches the monitor's native resolution, and the monitor is set for one-to-one -one pixel to pixel mapping. Enhancements such as sharpening and contrast enhancement should be disabled. Set the brightness carefully and set the gamma to match the pattern's gamma or EOTF. 444 or 422 processing must be used. Any conversions to 420 in the signal path will render the third and fourth panels meaningless. This pattern should be viewed from a distance, so the line pairs merge optically. Not all rows may track gamma equally. If that is the case, try to get panels 1 and 2 of the middle row to match, then use only that row for the rest of the test. On this example of a consumer TV, only the middle 50% row could be made to match. The color matrix was correct, and all three panels match in row 2. On this example, the 2020 color matrix was decoded with the 709 matrix. Note the color cast in the third and fourth panels. To get a better idea of tone mapping that may be in use in a system or monitor, check out our pattern called Tone Mapping. For more information about the color space and monitor test pattern suite, please contact us at the email address below.